everyone. Welcome to Junk Journals by Jen, where journaling is about the journey. Have you ever found yourself with extra 12 by 12 pads of paper and wondered what to do with all of them? It's a bonus if they are plain on the back. If they're not, that's okay too. We'll still use them. Um, so let's get started. And this is what we're going to make today. They are large tags with diagonal pockets on the front, two different pockets on them actually. And what you're going to need for these cute little tags are, you need some two pieces of coordinating papers. And I've got um, just a green one and a white one. And then you need some scissors, some ink if you're going to ink your edges, um, eyelets if you want to put an eyelet in the top of your tag and something to set it with and a topper for your tag if you choose to do that that's up to you and I believe that's all you need for this project super simple really cute though I like it a lot I was just playing around one day and came up with it and thought well I'll share it with everybody Okay, so what you're going to do is take your pieces of um, scrapbook paper and cut them into two strips that are, well, you cut two strips <laughs> that are four inches across by, of course, 12 inches long, okay? And then we're going to cut those down to seven inches. And I'm just using my scissors. You can use your cutter if you want or whatever. I don't worry too much about it. Okay. So now I've got four pieces of paper. Now you need to decide which one you want to be your background and which one you want to be the um, medium one here. And I think I would like the green to be my background. So that's gonna be my background. What I'm going to do now is cut diagonal corners on my green one. And what you're going to do is take that corner you just cut off and turn it over so you cut an exact angle of the first one onto the second one. Just a little trick to get a perfect match. Okay. And then what you're going to do is take the tall piece that you have and line it up with that. And you're going to cut from a little bit below where the corner is these are a little bit off, so I'm gonna trim this up a little. That's okay, and that happens sometimes. Okay, now what you're going to do is take and cut this just a little bit below where your um, point is here and cut a diagonal, like you can see I did here. Cut a diagonal across right about there. And we're just gonna cut a diagonal. And I saved these for other things, so I just set them aside. So now we've got our diagonal pocket up top there. Now we're going to take this other green one and we're going to cut it on the same diagonal by lining it up top with that one and cutting the same angle so now we've got the same angle
and we want to line it up on here and leave yourself about an inch and then cut that off. So you've got that. Now we just glue these. And like I said, I save all these pieces for collaging and different things. They're not wasted. And um, we're going to glue this just like this. These are so cute. Okay. And you glue the two sides and the bottom. I should have inked that first, but I'll tell you what, here's a little trick. If you don't ink it first, you can take a little piece of scrap paper, scooch that in there, and just ink like that. And then ink that. I'll ink the back after I'm done. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to ink that too. down. Hope everybody is having a wonderful day. The weather here in Iowa, it's so weird to say that still here in Iowa. <laughs> the weather is so beautiful. I know they're still having really hot weather in Houston, but it's in the low 80s here. I had to turn the heat on <laughs> the other night. but Okay, so now we're down to the fun part. Let's, um, there's a little bit of the white showing there. We could just trim that up if we wanted to. That. And then I like to ink the back, and it's a great writing spot because there's no um, pattern to it. That's why I said bonus points if it's plain on the back. But if you did have um, paper with pattern to it, just take a piece of flyleaf paper from a book and glue it on there and it would be perfect. Okay, now let's take and select an eyelet. We're gonna put it on the three sixteenths hole here. Put it right in the middle. Okay, and where'd I put my eyelets? There we go. Let's see what color would look good with this. Hmm. Let's 
baby silver. Okay, got that on there. And let's see, what do we want to decorate this with? Where's my glue? <laughs> I swear I would lose my head. It wasn't attached. Um, I have got some, ooh, I know, I have some mushroom things. Let's see what we've got here. That's cute. Huh. Well, that's cute. And there's some little things in here. Maybe a sticker. Okay. I love the red with this kind of teal color and the grass matches so well. I think that looks perfect there. I kind of like this on here too. It gives a little added writing room. Or we could do, I don't like two mushrooms. No, I like this. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Perfect. Okay, let's do that. This one. And then let's find something to put up here. Maybe um, let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> I've got red. Or that goes with that really nicely. The red is pretty bright. Hmm. I don't really care for the red. I think Okay. Okay, that's cute. I love it. Let's put some tags in it. Maybe, um, not that, maybe this one. That's cute. Let's 
punch the hole out though. And how about one of these cards? Are these cards? What are these? Oh, yeah. These are cute. We'll put one of these in there. J, Junk Journals by Jen. And, oh, I've got one of these mushroom um, papers. Put that back there. There. Pin in the glue. And there you've got what we've made. I think that's super cute. Let's see it in a journal. Let's do this one actually, because this is a bright journal. Cute. So there you have it. That's the, um, tag that we completed today and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already done so. Please visit me at my Etsy shop which is linked below and that's all for now. Bye everybody!